everyone and welcome to the gaming serial where you get the latest news, the greatest reviews and the news for our South African homies. My name is Mr. Eldon. I will be covering the news this week for Breast. Yes, today I have the power. Let's get right into that then, shall we? As a quick disclaimer, I do apologize for any potential background noise. There are things happening around me beyond my control, but I will try my best to speak clearly. As of the time I am delivering this video to you, it is the 11th of November 2016, and we have some funky stuff to talk about. And I think we'll start off with our game releases throughout the next week. Our two big days are on the 15th of November, where we will see the release of the Assassin's Creed Ezio collection, all the good old stuff of our good old favorite assassin doing his assassin -y things. We also have Gran Turismo Sport and Watch Dogs 2 releasing on the same day, although for PC only on the 29th, so I'm so sorry, you're just gonna have to have fun with whatever. Also, a another expansion by Telltale of The Walking Dead, a new frontier. So, uh, if that's your thing, more of that. Great stuff. Our second big release date would be on the 18th of November, where we have the release of Killing Floor 2, The Amnesia Collection, and Pokemon Sun and Moon. On PSN, we have some great savings. 35% discount for the regular customers and 70% on PSN which means you'll get some plenty great games up to a plenty great discount. That was not English. Uh, Witcher Game of the Year edition for 360 Rand. Look at that. It's The Witcher. It's cheap. It's big. It'll take your life away. And I think 360 Rand for a life's worth of, you know, forgetting about everything else that's important is not a bad investment. There's also Uncharted, the Nathan Drake Collection for 282 Rand, three games. Not a bad price, uh, if that's your thing. Uh, Black Ops 3 has its digital deluxe edition, all the fancy stuff, selling for 600. Ratchet and Clank, the new recent installment, the revamp of the original, going for 255. The Grand Theft Auto trilogy for 305. An interesting one is Star Ocean: Integrity and Faithlessness. This one is. Um, Pretty new game, but selling now on special for 331 Rand. For all you uh, RPG fans out there, nice stuff, nice uh, new uh, stuff. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is also selling for 300 Rand. And on to the deal of the week, which is the Bioshock collection for 550. Another interesting little thing to note is that Rainbow Six Siege is on special for 430, but this weekend will be free to play. So. Give that a go, if you were curious, just saying. But that's the funky stuff out of the way, now we'll get up on into the news, starting with Skyrim Special Edition on the PS4 Pro. Yes, it's up -rezzed. it's looking fancy, looking great, but apparently things are not as straightforward as they seem to be, because with this update, Skyrim is experiencing some poor performance issues such as frame rate drops, so just be aware of that. Among more positive things, Mass Effect Andromeda has gotten some nice fancy treatment as N7 Day was not too long ago. We got a brand new trailer showing lots of cool things, but no story details whatsoever. Luckily there are some gameplay and story details that can be found on NeoGAF, link down below. Um, with lots of new interesting things detailing, you know, not just the characters, where they come from, what it is they're going to be doing, but also some some gameplay changes, which is which is quite interesting. For example, there are no more character classes. You're just going to have to customize one character the way you want to, and I like the sound of that. Um, on top of the Mass Effect news, uh, the Davis have also stated that this will not be the introduction of a new trilogy. It's going to be one exclusive game. Um, from start to finish, they want it to be one adventure all on its own, and interestingly enough, they're quite excited about this process, so hopefully it is a good thing, hopefully they are taking a new approach to this whole series, and we can all look forward to that. Pokemon Sun and Moon may only be coming out within a week, but 
because of early copies and our favorite data miners a whole lot has been spoiled if you are the kind looking for that information we again have a link down in the description you can go check it out but all in all maybe if you are a hardcore fan and you prefer to enjoy that a full experience just stay away from the internet except our channel because we have good stuff and we won't spoil anything I promise Watch Dogs 2 is a late release yes no fun at least you can Contain yourself by enjoying some Dishonored 2 on PC in the meantime, except no! You can't because its port is broken. Yes, things are not going very well and many users have reported problems such as frame rate drops so much as up to uh, 20 frames uh, when opening large areas, slow loading textures and refresh rate issues which have caused such things as nausea. We also have audio problems. Um, such as dialogue not syncing and la di da di da. As a final note, I'm going to take charge of my opportunity on this show right now and bring you guys some Kingdom Hearts news because I'm because I because I'm in charge now. You can't do anything about it, so you're getting some Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 will both be ported to PS4. They will run with graphical improvements, don't know how, probably new textures, waiting to find out, but the big sitch is that they're coming, all of them, to be playable in 60 frames per second. Smoothness, goodness, like it, yes. All in all, I think this week will be very entertaining, and I do think that the rest of November will pick up even more. And I'm excited to see where that goes. If you want to keep up to date, please join in for our weekly news show next week. I do hope you have enjoyed today's news updates. And if you liked the video, you know, show us that you liked it. Click the like button. That's, that's what it's there for. For future updates and to know when the next episodes will be coming out, they come out weekly by the way, please subscribe to the gaming serial. We welcome you with open arms and fuzzy blankets. Thank you for watching. Peace out.